Hey there, Streakers. It is good to talk with you today. Jamie and I are excited because today we talk about communities. And the reason why we're excited about it is because the Streaking app just recently got a significant upgrade and you can form communities of your own, which is all about law number three, create or join a streaking community. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So let's get streaking. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning. Good afternoon. Actually, I don't know. Good what evening, it is. wherever you are. Wherever you are, welcome. <laughs> welcome. We're so glad to have you. Welcome to the community. The community of streakers. The podcast, the podcast community. community of streaking. Why are compute? What is a community? That was one of the things. So as we were researching this and looking at it, we knew inherently when we wrote the book that it was critical, and not not that we knew inherently, but that it was something that we we saw and recognized as part of successful streaking is that people had a community either created it or joined the community yeah this is something you recognize very right out of the shoot well i guess not right out of it the was shoot. right out of the right. shoot it was it, it was, took me quite a little a while little actually in the process but i guess what i'm saying is that as we were doing it you were the first right. person to really say no this is really something that's important and saw it in the research and so this so today we decided you know what let's talk about community right what is a community why is it important and i read a quote the other day or saw something on pinterest that someone said we are inundated with content and what we're lacking is community mm. and i thought i've been thinking about that a lot for the last couple of weeks um especially because we are there is so much content out our world has changed right that we are inundated with content like the right. way that we grew up and were educated is very different than the way our children are growing up and True. being educated because content is so accessible and would you agree with that streakers i mean as you look at that would you agree that we have two a lot of content access it's Acce extreme, extreme amounts of access. access to content comparative to what it used to be Right. Just a couple decades ago. So the question is, is what is a community? Which we did um, further research on. So we did research for the book and then we've done some further research. And there's a couple of articles that we found that really highlight the importance of community that then we'll use to springboard into talking about streaking communities. And this, so this one is from the betterup.com blog, The Importance of Community. And the author of this is... Maggie Wool. Maggie Wool. Thank you very much. What exactly is a community? In its simplest form, it is a group of people with something in common. That, sh that shared factor could be family, geography, faith, race, or life stage. It could also be an overlapping interest, passion, or profession. But for a group of people to form a true community that enriches the lives of its members, the individuals involved must also feel a shared sense of trust, connection, and caring for one another. That's great. I read an article too by Justine Clarabout, and she starts off with saying, the word community is without question central to human experience. Being part of an engaging community gives us a sense of belonging. It enables us to share personal re relatedness and support perpetual growth of each other, ourselves, and our environment. I love that. And then it says a community can be anything from a physical place where geographically people where geographically people are connected, or a virtual space such as social media groups or private community platforms. Communities bring like-minded people together with similar characteristics and common interests. Every com every community operates within specific boundaries to meet the needs of that community. As you read each one of these, I'm thinking of just the different streaks that we have and how those streaks bind us to different types of communities. Yeah. So, for example, some of our physical streaks, it binds us to running is one right. of the communities that we belong to. The, the tiny community, tiny community of runners, but the smaller community of runners that's engaged to a bigger community of people that want to stay physically fit. That want to stay fit. physically fit or, act mm -hmm. or active or any of yeah. those things. It also says, why are communities so important? Strong communities are critical because they're often an important source of social connection and sense of belonging. So similar to what you read as well. Participating in a community bonded by attitudes, values, and goals, we'll say streaks, is an essential ingredient in enjoying a fulfilling life. Isn't that interesting? An essential ingredient 
to experiencing a fulfilling life. And so it is a basic human need that we need. We are social creatures by nature. We need each other. And so what I loved as we talk about the the app and creating the community within right. the app right. is, first of all, I love that we've really recognized through, it took a little while, but recognized that the community wasn't there for the, the creating accountability aspect right. of it. Even though a lot of people think that, in fact, we were just guests on a podcast yesterday uh, that will, I, I don't know when it'll air, but it's in Australia. We were guests yeah. on that podcast. And when we were talking about create a community in regards to streaking, create or join the streaking community, one of the areas that our host went to right away was accountability. And I guess if you if you want to look at it at the the most basic sense, anytime you let somebody know that you're doing something, there's some level of accountability there. In the sense, do you know I what guess, I mean? Yeah, you're, but you're I guess like I letting like... people know, hey, I'm doing this, and so now they know that you're doing it. So if you're looking at accountability at that most basic form of, I've told people I'm doing this. And now they know, and that in some way holds me accountable because True. I've shared it. And so now I feel a responsibility to absolutely agree. keep doing it because I've shared it. Then I could see in that respect, but definitely I don't see it in, in this place of, did you do your streaks today? And that's what I was <laughs> looking at too, as far as, did you actually do it? Yeah. In other words, in a reporting relationship, when I'm reporting to someone, I'm getting paid for a particular job or profession. I'm accountable to that person. They can ask me, did you do this? And that is what I look at as true accountability. Right. Because if I commit, to, even with you and I, if I commit to you something and you are expecting something to be done, I'm accountable to you to be able to say, yes, I need to do that. However, in the world of streaking, you're not accountable to someone else. You may have it where you like to share it with the group because you have a sense of of accountability. You want to report on it. However, in reality, what it is is you're you're really reporting it in the streaking world to celebrate with each other. Yeah. And so maybe the community and the streaking environment and and especially in the app where you can fully immerse yourself in the community, it has a lot of all of the benefits that a community brings and the benefits you could say that if you want to look at it as accountability in the sense of I'm sharing this so people know I'm doing it, but not the negative aspect of it because I've, I've never seen in our community yet somebody say, hey, did you do that streak? Have you done it yet? <laughs> right. Just a reminder. Just a reminder. Remember, you got to do that streak. Haven't, haven't had that yet. Haven't mm -hmm. seen that yet, but have seen tons of celebration. Yes. And I feel as I look through the different social aspects of the app, as people report on what it is that they've done for their streak that day, I feel a huge sense of motivation and also celebration for them. Yes. So I I loved this article, The Importance of Community. Where was it? Where was it found in well? This was in Wellbeing People, which I actually think is a community. Like, I think it's a, a place that you can subscribe to become a part of this of the community, well -being community of well-being people. Okay. Um, so it's great that the article is all about, but I really loved what she pointed out about why a community is important. So I thought it would be fun to go through the different things that she talks about. What are the benefits of being a part of an engaging community? That'd be cool. And talk a little bit about how how streaking and and then even maybe more directly the app creates or so does that and let me let me just um preface that with this it says in, in the in the other article that we're re looking at as well one of the ways that we can strengthen our mental health yes is by building community and creating the social connection and support to have more vulnerable conversations this was interesting to me because streaking is at its base somewhat vulnerable because yeah. what what you're doing is you're reporting on the something that you're doing that for you is laughably simple. Mm -hmm. And so reading a paragraph in a book or writing a sentence or you know it, showing up at the gym or um, yes. you know what was that there's there's been other ones as as brushing well. Brushing your teeth, making brushing your, your teeth, bed, making your bed, any of those it's like it's the most basic and we're celebrating those and how many times in a row you've been able to 
do that particular thing or how many days in a row. And I, and so I'd look at this and say that vulnerableness in the streaking community gives you the opportunity to bond together in a way that you hadn't by creating spaces where open dialogue is safe and encouraged. People can deepen their understanding of one another, work together to address challenges and find the support they need to navigate through tough times. So with that, let's talk about the benefits. And I love what that said. Sorry, just thinking on a more broader perspective, but just what a community does for people individually and then in, as groups in the sense of, I was listening to someone the other day who was who is following someone on Instagram and, and she said, I love it because the things that they post, I thought I was the only person struggling with that. But then when I look down and see that it's been liked 1500 times, I'm like, oh, I'm not the only person that's like, that's I'm not struggling alone with this. I'm not alone. I've appreciated thing. I'm that. actually, and actually she's like, I actually looked at it and thought, oh, I'm pretty normal. And, and so this idea of recognizing that when you see what other people are struggling with and you feel connected to that and thinking, okay, I'm not alone. I'm right. not, I'm not strange. This is something a lot of people are struggling with. So right there feeling not alone. Right. But then the other thing too, is being able to recognize Maybe it's something that you're not struggling with and you can help other right, people. Right. So you see people differently. We have a podcast coming out in the next, I don't know when we're going to post it, that we did yesterday um, with Jeff McEwen from Australia also. And it ended up being that the podcast, to me, really talked a lot about the importance of being seen yeah. and seeing others. And I'll oh, wait till community... you hear this one. It's pretty, it's pretty amazing. It a... I mean, the story yeah. that he tells is absolutely phenomenal. We're going to drop that a little bit here, but that will post. So you're listening to this one this Saturday and that will don't post promise when week. it'll post. It will. We've... It'll post next week. All right. And we're I don't still have doing one. Now. We're still going to do our one on energy. <laughs> On, on oh, that's right. Managing your energy, yeah, not your time. It's out there. Hey, communities can help you with your energy. <laughs> yes. Okay. Maybe we're just going to weave energy through Throughout. every single podcast that we do from through, here on through out. Through these first few months of the year. <laughs> Benefits of being part of an engaging community. There are, there are so many positive aspects to being part of a group or community. Providing unique opportunities for people to learn from each other and give support and encouragement that's what I think we were saying so much is that the community is about the not accountability, there, but in, encouragement and support. And support. I, the, the first word there, engaging. Mm -hmm. that, that is the other area where I've been trying to put words around what the social media aspect of streaking is as compared to other social media networks. And as I look at other social media networks, there's entertaining factors there. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I'll watch YouTube shorts. That's that's where I go. Sometimes to they're entertaining. entertaining. Sometimes you're like, this is the dumbest thing I've ever. Why am I watching? Why this? am I watching this? And right. then my second thought sometimes is, someone took a lot of time to make this, so, <laughs> or maybe they didn't. <laughs> so what is what is different about the streaking social media as compared to those? Yes. And what I've thought about is it's engaging. I agree because I'm engaged immediately in. For example, you have a streak to you just started one to what reduce or delete one photo I adopted someone you else's adopted streak someone else's. I adopted someone's streak to um to delete or file oh I can't remember what the second part of it is cuz all I've done is delete the picture so far that's where I started <laughs> delete or file but it's or in your yeah it's in like your uh, yeah it's in your photo album to to edit or delete a photo once a day once a day and you've now been doing that and for 10 days for t for 10 days ten congratulations days. Interestingly, in the so you posted about that, and then you got a post back from someone that showed you how to take care of duplicates. Yes, I posted as a dumb picture that I took of something I was shopping for doilies, of, and and <laughs> thought, how many pictures do I have in my album of these things that I just take a quick snapshot of because I need to text it to someone, or, but I don't take the time to go back and I haven't right. in the past right. till I adopted a streak taking the time to go back and delete. So I was posting, look at this dumb picture that I have. And now I don't, I deleted it. I took care of it. And another streaker put a little pro tip in of how to merge duplicate pictures in Beautiful. my photo album. So today I was able to learn a whole new skill and do something that would have. So that's why hours. I look at the community engaging. Yes. It engages you in a way that you haven't otherwise. I thought you were going to say engaging because every post 
is automatically engaged because people are posting about things that they're doing. Yeah. Like they the have activities to Activities that they're doing something. to either get better in physical, professional, spiritual, or um, so there's this level intellectual, of social realms. Movement to the whole, there's always this this forward momentum, That's I guess. It's really cool to think about too. It's, it's one of the reasons why when I look at the streaking social media as it continues to grow, I get more and more engaged in it. And I'm motivated to do and complete my own streaks and show the progress that I've had there. Yeah, I Fun. agree. Okay, keep going. Okay, so engaging, that's the huge part of a community. Support and encouragement are invaluable part of joining forces with our peers. So the first one, support. Being part of a community enables us to give support to other members. I thought that was great that she started off by saying what we're giving, not what we're getting. Because when she first, when I first read this, I support. I thought, oh yeah, we get support from other people when we're part of a community. But the place that this went to first, this article and the author was being a part of a community enables you to give support to other people. And and I just thought that's really great that that is something you inherently come to a community for is to be supported, both to give it and then to yeah. feel that support in return. Being supportive of others will help them to feel good and better about themselves. With so much stress in the busy world we live in, there's never been a more important time to get others struggling with their mental and physical well-being, to help others struggling with their physical and mental well-being. And I wonder, too, how much does it help our own mental and physical well-being as we're giving support? You, you, you're giving that support, and it's interesting how you feel supported in that same moment. Right. One of the um, areas that struck me as you were talking about giving support I was thinking through when I get support versus when I give support, if there's a different feeling from those two, does it, is it more energizing energy mm -hmm. when we give support or is it more energizing when we get it? Or another question is, is it more, uh, is it, is it lasting when you give support? Is it more lasting the energy that you have when you give support? Versus when you get it, is it less lasting? Does it, do you see what yeah. I mean? Or is it the same? I don't know. I guess my thoughts more were along the lines of both are an essential part of the human existence in the sense that there are times that we need to, we need to feel supported. Yeah. We need to feel seen. We need to feel like people notice that we're around and that we're alive. But then there's other times that the best way to feel supported is to support other people. Yeah. To be true. out there supporting and and recognizing and seeing other people. And in that process, you feel supported as well. Right. Well, for instance, so when we looked at the whole concept of community in regards to streaking, one of the streaks that I tell I tell quite often in the story about is Cal Ripken Jr. And though the millions of people that watched him break Lou Gehrig's record of 2,130 games in a row, they were supporting him mm -hmm. in that streak because he was the only one that was doing it. Yeah. I mean, there, there was nobody else. There was no one else that was like, hey, let's do consecutive game streak together. Well, and there's no one out there saying, I've played just as many games as you have. <laughs> but isn't it interesting that in supporting him, we all felt the energy coming back from his consistency, yeah. from his consecutiveness, from his ability to be able to be consecutive, stay healthy, work through pain and difficulty. We all, we, we lived that through him in mm -hmm. some sense. Does that make sense? Yeah, because I think I'm thinking of the word inspired, that when you're inspired by what somebody else has done, you don't have to do that same thing. Right. But you're inspired to go to your life and and do keep doing what is important to you. It's inspiring. You're yeah. motivated. True. All right. Second one, influence. Within community, with community participation comes empowerment. When people feel empowered, they feel a sense of control, enabling them to influence positive change. It's about making a difference to a group that matters to its members. What do you think about that? Influence. When we happened on streaking all together it was when you were reading about jeff and diane shumway and the united states running streak association or streak running association which by the way um 
Streak Runners International is one of the communities in the streaking app now that you can join and be a part of and start posting about your running streaks. What you found in that in regards to empowerment, because that's what that was, or influence. Influence, but yeah. she says community participation with with participation in the community comes empowerment. Comes empowerment. You were empowered at that moment to do something different than you'd ever thought of doing before. Mm -hmm. That That's revolutionary. To be able to look at something and consider, you know what? I can do it differently than I've done before. And the way that you got that was through a group of people or a community of people that had been doing it and shared that enthusiasm and passion. Yeah, which is why as we were developing the app, and I don't remember where it came, but we recognized who was it the first person that said, we need to have a way that people can, because we did, it took I'll us a while to figure out the adopt word. I'll take credit. For, oh, was the, for the adopt the streaks? Yes. I'll take credit for that. Okay. Yeah. Because <laughs> we recognize that as you see and witness what other people are doing, you are empowered to be like, True. I want to add that to my life. Right. I'm going to adopt I'll, that streak. I'll amend my credit. I'll, I'll give credit to Talon too, because I think he and I were talking about it. And we're like, we got to be able to have a way that we can adopt streaks. Yes. But I do remember it took us a while to get the word adopt. Yes. That we were doing, we were calling it something else originally. But we loved that, that this idea of taking what somebody had and bringing it into your life, like, like a, like a child. Yeah. Where you're like, I'm going to bring this into my life and I'm going to take responsibility for it and care for it, it. And it's going to be a part of my life now. So can we share a little bit of your life on this one? That depends. Which part of my life are we sharing? About being adopted. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're Not talking fully about adopted. adopted. I'm half adopted. Half adopted. Half adopted. So you were, because this is what was interesting to me, and I think this was what spurred us on with a, with a streak as well. So you, what, when you were eight, mm -hmm. were adopted by your My now, mom father. remarried, yes. Yeah, your mom remarried, and you were adopted by your father. Yes. Your birth certificate actually changed. Yes, changed and I, I i mean it no longer lists the person who is your biological father right it lists it lists my your adopted, dad yeah and you call him your dad and everything mm -hmm. else and he is your father today on your birth certificate yep so the reason why that's significant is when we talked about adopting a streak when you adopt it it becomes yours yes it's no longer someone else's and that's one of the reasons why we use the word adopt is because its birth certificate now has your name. Yeah, that's really good. <laughs> Does that good. make sense? Yeah. And so that's what I think about as... as. You're so funny. What part of my life are we sharing? I know. I wasn't sure where <laughs> you do that sometimes. I'm like, where are we going? <laughs> the... The the idea of empowerment, I think can't about... my mind. I mean, after 31 years... I am years, so close. I really am. <laughs> I know. I, I mean, think you should, about... You should have been able to know that I was I was talking about adoption. <laughs> Sorry, I won't interrupt anymore. Go I ahead. think about that discover page and the power of being able to go through and see the streaks that people have completed. And that to me is the embodiment of empowerment yeah. in the sense that you are seeing these things that other people are doing. And it, and it does two things. One, you're empowered to be like, I want to keep doing my streaks. But two, right there, you can look at a streak and be like, I want to take that one on. I'm going to adopt yep. it. I'm going to adopt it right now. And it will so, become mine and I own mm -hmm. it. And it's completely recorded by me. Yep. That's, I think that's powerful. I think so too. Okay. Next part of the, it, the next benefit of being a part of a community, sharing. Sharing stimulates innovation and growth. Ideas breed new ideas. Apart from having personal benefits of gaining knowledge and insight, sharing also contributes to the community's greater worth. And I just shared an experience about learning. Another one that I'm thinking about is we have another user on the streaking app, Kathleen. And she shared about a sourdough recipe that she has been a starter that she's been working with for quite some time. And she shared a loaf that she shared a picture of a loaf that she had recently made. Mm hmm. And uh, appreciate it because of the streaking logo, she she had baked that in. She baked the logo into the <laughs> loaf of bread. Into the loaf of bread. Yes. What I appreciated about it and in regard, in regard to this and to sharing is 
everyone started to now ask for her. I mean, the comments that came from this as far as, wow, that looks really cool. How do you do it? And then she started to share how she started in baking loaves of bread mm -hmm. and how you can do a sourdough starter. And then other people chimed in. And so this sharing all came together in a way that allowed everyone to learn just a little bit more. Yep. Which is how we how we grow both yeah. individually and as as groups of people. And and I love, also love that it it creates that feeling of innovation and progress and movement, which I think are awesome. Okay. Reinforcement is the next benefit of an engaging community. Reinforcement can be an effective learning tool to encourage desirable behaviors and provide motivation. A strong community will go beyond the immediate basic needs and ensure that fulfillment is a positive experience. By doing so, it builds positive rewards and reinforcement for an enjoyable sense of togetherness. Love what it. do you think? Reinforcement. I think the whole streaking concept is built <laughs> reinforcement. in reinforcement. Each time that you com each time that you complete a streak, you're reinforcing that small action in your life. And to me, it's communicating because this is something that over the years as I've continued to streak and and have had a couple times where I've had weeks in a row where I have done the floor of the streak of a particular streak. Mm -hmm. And anytime And for those of you who are new to streaking, when we say the floor of the streak, what we mean is that it's the at least part. The laughably it's simple part. Laughably simple part. I've done at least nothing one more. sentence and I've done nothing more. I've just done the floor of the streak. And and we live in a society that is constantly telling us you need to do more, you need to level up, you need to be always doing better. And I agree that I always want to be progressing. Improving and improving. progressing. But it's an interesting thing to think about on a day-to-day -day basis because there's those days or sometimes strings of days that I can, that it's difficult to say that I'm leveling up or <laughs> seeing improvement. So when I have a streak that I've had several days in a row that I've done just the floor, there have been times that I'll look at myself and think, is this making a difference? Should I keep this streak? Should I be forcing myself to be doing more? All of those questions that come in our natural part of think maybe I maybe just my natural part of thinking through a streak. No, I think but it's my part of thinking through a streak as well because when it's laughably simple. It's laughable. It's laughable. Yeah, I mean, you got to ask. And so you ask yourself, and I think that that's overcoming the natural rejection response. Our natural tendency to say, if it's not big, bold, and beautiful, then it really doesn't count. Right. When in actuality, what counts in the work and the effort and the energy is in the consecutiveness of the streak. It's not in the in the one activity. In that one, yeah. It's not measured by that one single day. Exactly. One of the uh, things I want to add to just quickly, sorry, is... Um, the idea of resilience in regards to this well, as well. That's what, just real quick, I was going to yeah. say, so reinforcement, anytime I have a streak that I've had several days strung together that have just been the floor, what's really happening is I'm communicating and reinforcing to myself that though I'm not having a ton of time to do this particular streak right now, it is important to me. And I'm reinforcing that every single day by that small action that I'm doing that reminds myself this is important to me. And and there'll be time that I can do it more. But even on the times that I can't do it a lot, I'm still reinforcing right. this is important. Totally. And that's where I get into resilience. Mm -hmm. Resiliency is the quality of impacting, or resiliency is a quality impacting the way people respond to and manage change. Belonging to a community offers a form of support that provides a buffer against the stresses of change. I want to do, we should do a whole podcast on resiliency and streaking. We really Take should. Take a mental note of that one. Okay. Mental note taken. Because that, because there is so much about. We'll talk about that when we talk about energy. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much about resiliency that streaking really enables and, and, and helps it, unlock. And it answers the questions. And to your point, unlock, it's, it's a real key that unlocks this whole idea of resiliency yeah. and how to be resilient. And. Because what you just said in stringing it together, as far as, you know, you have two weeks, three weeks, four weeks of the floor. Of the floor. 
that builds your resiliency. It does. It totally does. And that's that's why I was thinking, I'm like, we need to, I would love to explore that even more. All right, community and benefit of connection. An open bond with new connections is what builds valuable relationships and gives us a deeper sense of belonging. I have loved being brought together by like mind with like-minded people who want to improve on the simplest things in their life yeah. through streaking. People yep. that we've met now through the podcast or through the community that you start to really, it's just, it brings hope into your life, I feel yeah. like. Yeah. There is so much more that we could cover I on I want to talk about this you last talk one. one more because we're coming up against time. Passion. Having an outlet for passion gives people the opportunity to share a subject they're passionate about. And I feel like streaking ah. gives people, it's, and I, I guess the reason I wanted to end on that is because obviously it's a passion that we have and being able to share that passion with others and see their passion and streaking become the tool to enable them to continue to move forward on their passions and share those is I think really amazing. So what we'll do, if you're listening to this and have not downloaded the streaking app yet, do so. And if you are, if you decide to become a super streaker, which you can become a super streaker, we'll, we have additional information that we produce for super streakers as exclusive content for them, where you can go and become part of the super streaker group and we'll talk to you a little bit more about not only community and resilience, but some of the things that streaking does uh, a little bit behind the scenes from uh, what we've talked about here. But if you have a question for us or would like to ask us a question, please reach out to us via email, Jeffrey, J-E-F-F-E-R-Y at streakingmastery.com or Jamie, J-A-M-I at streakingmastery.com. As I just said, download the Streaking app where you can get all the opportunity to see everything we've been talking about with the community and purchase the book at Amazon, Barnes & Noble, anywhere books are sold. If you really want to delve deep into the metho methodology of streaking and understand exactly how to set up successful winning streaks in your life. Until we talk again. Keep streaking. Make a better